Susie Williams, my me person, what shall I say? Um, the body won a chin and crop for pee. You move every day at the car set. Now, no go can't, you never be our one in Hanano, and any cake at home, but my men in church, you must say, Nebana, yes, I'm an ex here. No, my men children will find you away. According to my men, I said, I have a chairman accident in Nessino. Nebani Bess, you know, no crown, son, and the Bani Bess, you know, no, I saw that. Oh, sir, accident to be a see. I catch a bear man when it is a ye banner. Say any say the man who bear money to go ye. The banner buy and only bear me be a bear fee. I can't saw the person bear said to see be the appear one thing. According to my man, I said, Day, Dick and your home bear man, and now I'm pepper man as something to know a warning a banner. I will bear man. Be just a wolf and send me a making old firm waba. And so the banner went see or ya so brach ye. It's in the banner of father, a wolf and I will call ye. I say, na bechi e na accident ne happen ye e be catch e e catch e ne say ne bano when ye accident. According to my men, I stand to be corrected. What say? Oko hospital hono na ne bano nyengu ye. Oko baby ane bano wano baby ane bano dano. Eko cheke ye na ne bano na ongu ye. It says so. No why hospital or jumada into whom say condition na ne bano wano onyengu ye. E mu wano mu na na wamu di um ne bano wano bobo ni ati poino. What you are saying, call dying in the no. Oh, we said doctors in the moon get to one a barco. Edging on the banner so. No, the BB, you grab the banner winning. Now, a state, I'm watching shows on a man and walk to some words to say. It is Stacy Busan, I said. Now, no, the BB, you grab the banner winning no. And you're bad dinner with me, you're a far home. My man is a sabre, no man shut down your shin yenam. Sans and a bear man coming home. It be only a bear man and barman and a bear man so me catch na. No one to mean to one of my papa be a man in church in the moon. Or person what shall I say? Na bear man I want to say no. Oh yeah, yes, Susie William, Susie Williams, no, the stepfather. I stand to be corrected, but son, I may say no. Na say son, not here. The other say, I'm the stepfather for one step man is for one. Say the easy canon. A be a pa na sub impress your son. A be to cut the suba in full. I'm on pen kurana son. And he was just a wo ucho ucho ucho. Eni a kurana. Ababa wa na nasa branch and wo ucho ucho ucho. I say wa mo eni a na hano mo. Ye do sika ibi jananka. Was so a be another panabo out to him. Was here and said, I'm China, so you catch on the Sunday Banu, and you're touching the banner, and you're then a man, one more someone in a final commotion. Ah, me buy another banu, yeah. Me who sold the BBC a granny in him. After I know I'll catch him, send me banu, or sit doctors and get on about could be in a no, some of the catch and say, Eh, we were who cramp and yes, she because sent out what's yes, yeah, Anka, a beard or a be how, said you, it's it, you know, Anka or Tanasia, and Kibia M, want to who cramp. Say we di anya shey, or say fine. I know how much you chill in the bani man. Or say how come now you insist to say, or pursue a beer in the bani tiso. Now I share the hand because oh, Oba I never be beer in the bani hand. But at the end of the day, when we say doctor, any children so di be beer, we don't even. Hey, are we safe? Hey, me are you wrong? Hey, kila yale. Wana ne ne bi nyapa nyumre. Ah, nyumre di me nyumre nuru anaye safe. Zipa asi de ne de ne. Malaria ah. Malaria. Hey. Don't you know me? I said it. Don't you know? 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 Don't you any some mm -hmm. small <laughs> abuabi. <laughs> What's with you? I don't know what chairman is from. <laughs> my name is Priscilla Courting, and this is my story. I was born on February 16, 1997, and sadly passed away on February 8, 2018. Throughout my life, I was known as Priscilla Courting, but my stage name was Ebony Rains. I grew up in the bustling city of Accra but had roots in the Brong Ahofo region. My educational journey began at Seven Great Princess Academy in Accra, where I completed my basic education. Later on, I attended Methodist Girls High School but decided to leave before completing my high school education to pursue my passion for music. It was during this time that I was fortunate enough to catch the attention of Bullet, a talented musician and entrepreneur from Rough and Smooth. He believed in my talent and signed me to his Rough Town record label. In December 2015, I released my debut single titled Dance Floor, which quickly gained popularity on radio stations. 
This achievement even earned me a nomination in the Unsung category at the 2016 Ghana Music Awards. Tragically, my life was cut short in a devastating car accident on February 8, 2018. I was traveling from Sanyani back to Accra after visiting my mother when the accident occurred. The collision claimed my life instantly, just eight days before my 21st birthday. The accident also resulted in the loss of my dear assistant and longtime friend, Frank Lina, as well as a soldier. The only person who survived the crash was the driver, Finehas, who resides in Accra. Despite the untimeliness of my departure, I sincerely hope that my music and the memories I left behind continue to resonate with people. I am grateful for the support and love I received during my time as Ebony Reigns, and I extend my heartfelt appreciation to everyone who embraced my art. Thank you all. I am Christian, a professional footballer from Ghana. Throughout my career, I primarily played as a winger, although I also had experience as an attacking midfielder or left back. I was born in Greater Accra region and grew up in extreme poverty. Growing up, I had nine siblings including my twin sister. My father worked as a fisherman and farmer along the banks of the Volta River. During my education, I had the opportunity to attend an academy located in Ghana's central region. Later on, I enrolled in the West African Football Academy, which is situated in the Volta region. As I continued to develop my skills, I joined Cheetah FC, a club based in Ghana. Throughout my career, I took great pride in engaging in charitable endeavors. I served as an ambassador for Arms Around the Child, an organization dedicated to supporting disadvantaged children. Additionally, I provided financial support by paying substantial amounts of bail money to secure the release of Ghanaians who had been imprisoned for stealing food. On a personal note, I was happily married to Otta Marie Claire Rupio, and together, we had been blessed with two sons and a daughter. Tragically, on February 6, 2023, following the Turkey Syria earthquake, I went missing. There were fears that I might have been trapped under the rubble of Hotespa's headquarters in Ontario. Despite having plans to leave southern Turkey before the earthquake struck, I decided to stay with the club after scoring the winning goal in a match on February 5th. On February 7th, Mustafa Ozat, the vice president of the club, announced that I had been rescued and was receiving treatment at the hospital. However, the following day, on February 8th, the manager, Volkan Demira, informed the public that both the sporting director, Tena Savat, and I were still missing. Although my agent confirmed the discovery of two pairs of my shoes on February 14th, my whereabouts remained unknown. Sadly, on February 18th, my agent received confirmation that my body had been recovered from the rubble of the building where I had been staying. Reports indicated that my death occurred at approximately 6 a.m. My name is Boten, and this is my story. As a social media influencer and content producer, I was born in Ghana on August 27, 2000, and raised in Accra. From a young age, I showcased a remarkable sense of style and an innate talent for creating innovative dance routines that captured the attention of many people. Through my originality and boundless creativity, I gradually gained recognition and popularity within my audience. As my fame grew, I made the decision to expand my content horizon and delve into the world of fashion and lifestyle videos. I took great pride in blending contemporary streetwear with vintage Ghanaian designs, a combination that truly set me apart and resonated deeply with my followers. This distinctive look of mine opened doors to exciting opportunities, such as being invited to participate in esteemed fashion shows and collaborate with talented local designers. In 2018, I embarked on an exhilarating journey by joining the TikTok platform, where my energetic dance style and imaginative interpretations of popular songs struck a harmonious chord with viewers. With an unwavering passion, I poured my infectious energy into creating captivating videos that rapidly captivated a growing fan base. Through each meticulously crafted dance routine, my ultimate goal was to spread joy, entertainment, and above all, express my unique individuality. However, my path to success took an unexpected turn. I was struck by a severe illness that demanded immediate medical attention. I was rushed to the hospital, hoping to recover and return to pursuing my dreams. Regrettably, despite the best efforts of the medical team, my health declined further, and I never had the chance to resume my vibrant presence in the social media realm. 
Although my journey was tragically cut short, the impact I made during my time as a Hufa Branti remains imprinted in the hearts of my devoted followers. Through my dedication, perseverance, and unwavering commitment to my craft, I strive to leave a lasting legacy. My incredible journey serves as a reminder that life's unexpected challenges can abruptly alter our paths, yet the passion and inspiration we ignite within others continue to endure.